Hi guys. So we'll bring you the story of a man who went all out to disguise just so he could kill his ex-wife. Can you believe that? Okay, so this man goes by the name Zolani Nkanyi. He's a South African. He was married to Pumeza Pepeta and they both had a daughter. They lived together as a couple until sometime in 2019 when they got divorced. And after they got divorced, Nkanyi was stalking Pumeza and he was also abusing her. She couldn't deal with all of those and she was forced to obtain a court protection order against him. And of course, that um, restricted him from seeing his daughter. But that didn't sit well with Nkanyi, who felt his relationship with his daughter was threatened. So Nkanyi, according to him, became uh, bitter, very bitter, and he was affected psychologically and emotionally uh, by being deprived of every access to his daughter. And he said that caused him so much pain, so he made up his mind he was going to um, dish out the same proportion of pain or even more to his ex-wife so she could feel the pain he was going through by not seeing his daughter. So, what kind of pain was he going to cause his ex-wife? He processed all types of pains and none could work for him but murder. He chose to murder his ex-wife. That was the pain he was talking about. So Nkanyi Zolani decided he was going to kill Pumeza. Pumeza had lost her father and the burial was fixed for 26th of Jul July 2020. So on that Sunday, after her father was buried at the Martin Zema Cemetery, Pumeza went into the car to comfort her mother and while she was comforting her mother in the car, someone pulled out wearing a skirt, a, wearing sunglasses, a wig, high heels, and this person brought out a gun, fired at Pumeza on the stomach and on her forehead. Now guess who that person was? That was her ex-husband. The man went all out, disguised his look by wearing a skirt so he could kill Pumeza. And unfortunately for him, the mourners had not fully left the burial ground, so they rallied round and they, dis they, they, uh, they disarmed him, handed him over to the police. And sadly, Pumeza was rushed to the hospital, but she didn't make it. She died afterwards from the injuries sustained. This man has been in court facing his trial for the death of Pumeza. And even while he was behind bars, he sent a letter to someone very close to Pumeza's family saying he, she left him no option but to kill her. And that even frightened her family the more. Like, if this person could still threaten them from while behind bars how were they sure that they were safe with him being out there working free so when he applied for bill Pumeza's family were, were, were really scared because they couldn't really say for a fact that the system was going to protect them so they, they could only wish and pray that he was going to his bail was going to be denied and luckily for them his bail application was denied and Kanye also did stated that he he killed Pumeza so he could so he could use her as an example to other women who are in the habit of depriving uh, their ex-husbands from seeing their children can you even believe that he wanted to make a statement by killing his ex-wife so other women would not stop or prevent their ex-husbands from seeing their kids. How sick.
now fast forward to 6 september 2022 when judgment was said to be delivered on pumeza's murder the court delivered their judgment and Nkain Zolani was sentenced to 25 years imprisonment for the murder of Pumeza Pepeta. Now, while this looks like a relief for the family of Pumeza, or it looks like justice being served, I am really wondering why it had to be 25 years and not more. I was hoping that Nkai would get nothing less than a life sentence really because that was premeditated murder clearly the evidence were there the weapon uh, the murder weapon was recovered and there were witnesses to what he did so i am really wondering what happened what could have warranted the court handling him a 25 year sentence instead of a life sentence but that is why i'm sharing this story hoping that you viewers who know the law better in south africa would if you like educate us as to why such sentence was handed over instead of more well at least it's still a bit of relief knowing that he's, he gets to pay for what he did, even though not fully, but at least in some form, he gets to pay for what he did to Pumeza. Sadly, Pumeza cannot come back to life, but I hope her parents and her loved ones find a sort of relief from this judgment. So guys, I would really love to know your thoughts on this judgment. What do you think? Do you think ju justice was really served? And if you think otherwise, why do you think otherwise? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, guys, please like it, share it, and do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't fail to turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to know when we upload our next video. Until I bring you our next story, take care of yourself, take care of your emotions, take care of your mental health, be kind to yourself and the people around you and always be safe. I remain dark as Ige Olukun and I love you.